welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rose for those who don't know me today i'm at the kca university and guest nikona nani leo i'm with the president of kca university i mean the famous kca university the main campus so atajitambulisha kisha tuendele asante sana yes uh guys my name is charles musioka comrade president kca university 2021-2022 Okay. Na niko gani wafanya? I'm taking a Bachelor of Commerce mm -hmm. specializing in accounting. Uh, I'm also taking CPA certified public accountants. I'm in section 5 now. Okay. That's really nice. <laughs> okay, so tutaanza na fashion yako. Tuambie nini nimekufanya uka vibe leo? Naona umevalia vizuri. It's a uh, uh, mimi mwenyewe napenda African wear. African wear. Yes, you see Africa is our home and uh, one of the famous leaders of African said that Africa is our business. Yeah. So I love African wear that is a vitenge. Vitenge. Yeah, I prefer uh, wearing vitenge on Sunday uh, because uh, on a Sunday I don't attend to uh, official occasions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's really good by the way. So can you tell us the person who dresses you? Ama wewe ni ule wa kujivalisha eh ile yenye umepata unabeba ama ni aje Hapana <laughs> mm. uh, I myself I love uh, fashion Okay I do have time with my designer uh, Kevin 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 Odunga is one of the best man in town mm. who knows how to uh, organize how you are going to wear uh, designing uh, the matching of your clothes So uh, I take time with him mm -hmm. most on the Sundays so that I know I will be wearing uh, around the week. Okay. Yes. That's really nice by the way. And so coming to the president. So nini liku inspire uka vibe for this seat? Uh one thing uh personally uh I love leadership. You love leadership? Yes. And uh, I have not studied my leadership in KC University. Okay. I started back then 2007 in a uh, primary school okay. and uh, seeing what leaders they have been able to do uh, i was inspired to become a student leader in a university but what uh, made me to get more inspired to be a leader in a university it's all about the the gap you see before i became a president for your information i was the academic secretary Okay. Uh, 2019 2020 uh, 2020 2021 also uh, first of all as a leader you need to identify the gap then after identifying the gap you know the position which you want to run for mm -hmm. so i identified the gap in the academic docket back then and then from that point that is when uh, i started my leadership at kc university okay yes. so what were the challenges you encountered when vying for the seats Uh, as you know you see uh, leadership uh, university leadership is more political uh, it's like the national politics okay. you find it uh, you will love to uh, at the process you will love your supporters you will love your opponents then uh, for you to make it you must strike a balance between them okay. because at the end of the day you will lead all of them when you win you won't be leading your supporters only you will lead even your opponents after you win so you strike a balance you listen to all of them you listen to their ideas because uh, university students they have most uh, viable ideas in terms of leadership and also in terms of uh, transforming our communities also our universities by application of different economic models and also uh, Uh, life issues okay. yes so after becoming the president of KCA can you tell us the benefits or maybe the challenges the school as a school you encounter or the personal challenges you encounter as being the president of KCA University uh, personal challenges which uh, I encounter as the KCA University president uh, they are not normal eh? but uh, you will find that uh, there are those things you want to do for yourself there are your self goals you want to achieve as a person 
but again, uh, you find that there are students waiting for you to do a specific person for them. There are artists waiting for you to create themselves uh, platforms. <laughs> there are students with uh, different high ideas in technology yeah. waiting for you to create avenues to showcase their ideas. So you find that uh, most of the time you need to uh, balance everything at the end of the day. Like you reduce your personal time yeah. to serve others. Oh. Because even me getting your personal, it was a bit tricky, yes? Because when you live to a Kwenda na Masai, so what are the benefits? Uh, one thing, uh, and everyone should know this, it is good to keep time. And, uh, oh. Because everyone knows time is the most precious resource we have in this world. But if you utilize your time well, all your plans, you will be able to implement your plans you will be able to achieve your goals and also you will be able to get more time to relax and also detox, if I may say, when you get tired. Okay. Yes. So as being the president of KCA University, how do you find this area? Have you ever gone to other schools to do some interviews or to check other people's presidents? Uh, what we did last week on uh, Friday, mm -hmm. I invited some president to come in our university. Okay. Uh, and others also requested to come without even the invitation. But okay? uh, we met with them on Friday. I have not gone in any other university so far. I have told you I was only in last week, but one on Friday. So I have like one and a half week in office right okay. now as the president. So, uh, what I have uh, found with other university from other schools, that is universities, uh, everyone has a different personality. Okay. There are those in, in that position to achieve a certain political agenda and help their students. There are those who want to chip in the corporate world and also help their students. So it is more of a interest. Okay. Yes. That's really nice. And so what's your advice to the students around KCA and even to the other youths out here who are looking to becoming the president or just an advice to the youths outside here? Uh, I would like to advise our youths that uh, they should never give up. Mm -hmm. They should never give up. I know there are challenges. And we as uh, youths, we do uh, face a lot of challenges financial challenges, social challenges, yeah? yes. even our youths you have seen nowadays they are killing themselves because of love. Love. So, <laughs> yes, because of love, <laughs> love issues. Uh -huh. So you find that, uh, you know, when we lose one life of a youth, it's like we have a lot, we've, lo we've lost like 100 people in this world because you never know how many lives could be touched by that one youth. Not only in leadership, but also in other ways. Uh, you may not know whether we have lost a president, we have lost the best artist in Africa, we have lost the best uh, uh, leaders of this world when we lose our youth. So uh, it, it, it is so painful when I see uh, young people losing their life because of petty issues, which yeah. they can engage with other people, discuss those matters, more so mental health and depression. That is what killing many of the youths, most of men, depression. You see men, they don't speak out. They don't, they don't share uh -huh. their problems with other people. So uh, I would like also to <laughs> advise our men. They, they, they share out their issues with their close friends and those whom they think they will get some help from them. Okay. So. What's your advice to these people, to the youths engaging out here in love, trying to balance with academics at the same time they are trying to engage them in life issues, but they can't? One thing I would like to say is that youths, like those who are in university, there is no perfect time for dating. It isn't there. There is no perfect time. There is no perfect time to say, now this is the right time for me in a university to date or mm. to start dating. It is not there. Mm -hmm. It is not there. They need to sit down think about it and if at all they get the right person at this level well and good 
Yes. Okay. It is good uh, you take time mm-hmm. when you want to do some things. Don't engage in love, but you know you are not capable of listening and tolerating the other people. Because, you see, I think in love you are two people from different backgrounds, with different personalities. Exactly. So you are not coming there to complement each other. You are coming there to know how to live together. 